What's up peeps? I just want to make a video today. I feel like it's been a while since I've done like one of those long videos where I just go through and um, just just uh, talk about anything and everything. And today I figured I'd do one of those types of videos. If I don't break this thing in half by the time that it's done, look. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. But I still flip it, I don't give a fuck. But anyways, um, today what I thought it'd be cool to talk about is um, well, actually, I'm going to talk about AI today, and then I'm going to talk about some other stuff. Um, I guess, oh, well, you know what's one thing I can talk about? Do you guys know, like, those ants that are always carrying around leaves and stuff? Those ants don't eat those leaves. <laughs> Isn't that kind of crazy? I always just assumed that if those ants were eating those leaves, I mean, if those ants were taking those leaves home, they're going to be eating them. But nope. They don't eat them. They actually use those leaves to feed a fungus that lives in their ant colonies. And then that fungus is what they eat. So it's like a symbiotic relationship. It's funny because at the start of the relationship, the ants didn't, um, or the fungus didn't need the ants. And now the ants don't need the fungus. <laughs> So anyways, but they're, they both still stay within each other intertwined and stuff. But so it's kind of cool, kind of a cool relationship. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then another thing that's cool, or not cool, but what I wanted to talk about is AI. And the thing about AI is that AI, um, people have always the same opinions about AI. They always think, oh, it's going to be this or it's going to be that. But no one's ever had this, the opinion that I thought of the other day about AI, or at least not that I know of. So, everybody knows that AI is, like, um, one of those things that's, like, crazy and revolutionary, and everybody thinks it's going to do this, or it's going to do that, or whatever. But nobody ever thinks to themselves, or at least nobody that I've interacted with has ever had this thought that I had the other day. Um, AI is going to be making the next scientific discoveries in the world. And here's the reason why. So let's say you're like 20 or some shit and you want to go to uni and you want to get your PhD. When you get your PhD, what are you going to probably do, huh? You're probably going to do, um, what is it, like 10 years worth of school. So now you're 30, right? And now you're 30... You finally have your PhD and you're finally able to do some research. So you kind of get your bearings down for the next couple of years, maybe 10 years, something like that. And for the next 10 years, you figure out what it is that you want to focus on for your uh, career. Only problem is that's not, um, that's not really, that's not really giving you bearings for what you want. It's just, it's just getting your foundation, like learning how the lab setting works, all that stuff kind of getting the theory so 10 years so now you're 40 right oh shit so now you're 40 and you're kind of starting to get it down right okay i know i'm kind of like making this long-winded i don't know why i'm being so long-winded about everything but okay so 40 years old and you're like okay now i know what i want to go into i'm going to study this for the next years 20 years will probably be an adequate enough time for you to discover what's the right move for you but that's not enough time to learn what all is in the field. So now you have all the extra time you have to dedicate, whoa, towards learning all that stuff, right? And um, basically what I'm trying to say is that there's a certain level of time that it takes just to learn all the shit that we know now. And then once you learn that, then you can go about trying to make new discoveries and stuff. But the problem is that a lot of people are getting too old like all the experts in any said field now are really old and so i think where ai comes in is like ai is going to be the only thing that can make scientific discoveries in the future because ai is going to be the only one that knows everything there is to know or they can't even learn it in a lifetime we're starting to get to the level to where we know so much that it's impossible for somebody to know what there is to know in a lifetime so that's really what I was trying to get at is like you could study your whole life and science is getting to the point now to where even that's probably not enough. 
So that's kind of my thoughts on it. Anyways, what are y'all thoughts on it? I know some people, what are y'all thoughts? What are your thoughts on the issue? I know some people think that AI is good. Some people think it's bad. Some people think it's whatever. Some people think um, maybe I should just do my taxes and stop evading tax evasion with the IRS. To those people, I say, 